Hi guys, good morning. We're on the ISO builder. So if we ask ISO, then you see what system I'm on. And we're still making a video about this grub update that hit us like two, three days ago. There are already videos on there how to, to be aware, to be safe from the update of grub. And what we've done in Arclinix is when you update today your system, there is no issue, there is no problem. And why? Because we've had, um, we've put our old grub package that works on Arclinix repos. Simple as that. So that is maybe a tip I can include in the videos for ISO builders. Make sure your repo is at the top. Here in this line, the grub of a reference or a release 322 is in there, but it never gets there. So the wrong package, well, it's not wrong, but we need to do something and I'll explain it in the video. But the package 322 is in here. And when you update, it will get it from here. But since I've put an old version, the version that works without issues, is in the Arclinix repo, well, actually in the third party, I think, right? It's um, not going to update for a while, right? We're gonna keep the working grub package in here until everybody has done the video that I'm now showing. What should you do to be able to keep on updating? We need to type a line, basically, as has never happened in the last five years, this is really very exceptional. So if you're now thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna get rid of Arch and Arco and everything else, right? Because it has never happened. There's something like this that we really break our systems. What is required, again, is knowledge. And there is no communication on Arch Linux website. We have to figure it out ourselves. And Endeavor as Garuda, Manjaro, all the other guys, right? All the Arch Linux based, um, uh, operating systems are facing with the same issues and looking for the same solution. So go and have a look on the forums, ask them if things like this happen again in the future. So I want to have an up-to-date system, not the version that I'm have currently having. So in here with set as a system, forget about Grub, right? Ignore the package Grub. So that's one thing we need to get rid of. So let's go and see, oh, hello, I put a hashtag there. So this is N Pacman, the keyboard or an alias better. That's gonna open up etcpacman.conf, just the hashtag and then control X, control X, and then yes, no, voila, saved. So grub comes in, but like I said, like I've explained, grub will not come in because the old package is here. And the new package is here. We're gonna keep everything as is because people don't have time to just immediately update system and do and do this video and, and, and watch this video and learn. The old package will stay on for a while, right? So nothing happens to your system. And it only affects the UFI guys, not the bias uh, webs, uh, mod motherboards or computers. So only UFI uh, systems are affected. So, if you want to keep on rolling, update your system, then you do the following, yay, grub. Lots of things on grub, so you keep on scrolling back up because we need the one from the core. Number 322. We have 297, and that's coming from the Arconix repo and that works at least for me, right? Otherwise you go back one version more. I believe it's 262. Well, we don't have to believe sudo downgrade. That's a command to remember forever and ever. Any package that's not working, you can downgrade it. And it's 261, not 262. You see? But we want to go to this one, but that's fine. You need to type something behind it later on. So we have to tell this system to go and get number 60. So we're gonna override it, say, okay, go get this package that gave all this, these Arch Linux distributions a problem. 
I say yes. 322 is coming in. This is the ISO builder. Super important PC, right? Nothing can happen to it. What I need to do <coughs> afterwards, and that's an alias we've made. So if you update your system, and if you do CB, copy bash, or CZ, copy the ZSH, or CF, copy the fish, depending on the shell you're on, and this is your shell, right? So CB was enough for me. Then you have an alias, and it's called install grub UFI. If we see what it says, alias install grub. Like I said, we've never had to do this, right? You normally type this once. If you do an ArchLinux installation, you can ch check out the, the wiki of ArchLinux. It's just the one time. You, in the last five years, we've never had to do anything like that. But it's there. The alias is there. You never know when it comes in handy because this is a long text, a long line you have to remember. So, al install grub. Right? EFI. And that's not showing very much. Installing for x86 64. EFI again. This only affects the UFI, EFI uh, systems. <coughs> Installation finished, no error occurred, voila, great. And I do an update grub as a last, um, well, action, basically. And then sudo reboot, right? And then we have the latest grub, but it's this line that was missing. That's what we needed to do extra after an update. And then the 322 would work, would have worked, right? But we don't know it, we have to sniff it, we have to just guess it that this would happen because there was no communication whatsoever for this update so that's the deal if you want to update like i said i'm going to keep the old one a little bit around so nobody gets affected but we need to update at some point in time i'll i'll, I'll update as well i'll remove the old package from the repo and we'll have the 322 all of us will have the 322 coming in remember to Use the alias or completely type the white line that you see up here, right? With the S sudo. Grub install, target, etc. That's your solution. Now you can reboot. All right. Cheers.